Hello and welcome to a special segment from Read Brave, a comics podcast with Brian from Empire Strikes Books. Woo! Yay! So, <laughs> we're here to talk about the comics that are coming out tomorrow yes. so our listeners can know what they should get. Oh, this Wednesday. It's kind of a, it's a, a little bit of a mixed bag this week. Not a whole lot of big, big, big releases. There's right. a couple that, you know, we're obviously going to be looking forward to, but... Um, Kind of standard fair hero stuff this week. Nothing too crazy on the independent side. Uh, a lot of movement and storylines and such. Mm-hmm. Um, well, actually, I say, in, in, like, say for like Batman 16 will be out this week. And I know you were talking about yeah. you wanted to start getting some more Batman. Well, this will be kind of a good spot to jump in on. Um, they've been doing this whole, you know, Batman I Am Suicide arc with Bane and all this other stuff going right. on for, for quite some time. And so. Uh, the last couple issues, 14 and 15, were this nice little kind of Catwoman love story Yeah, I think thing. we talked a little yeah, bit about yeah. that last time. It was nice. Uh, it was a nice little change of pace, but I'm Definitely ready for... Intriguing. Yeah, I, you know, the, the good thing about the Tom King book is it's it's been really... You know, it, it expands on the character a whole lot, but I'm ready for Batman to be Batman. Right. And I want to see some Batman and going down. So hopefully this issue, it's a team up with the Green Lanterns. Uh, mm-hmm. There's, you know... A mystery that Batman can't solve. So yeah, that would be impossible. Cool. <laughs> impossible. So we'll have Jessica and Simon hanging out in in Gotham helping the bats. Uh, so if anybody thinks that's impossible, you should pick up this issue. Yes, <laughs> and see what all that's about. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a good one. Um, that's pretty much as far as like main DC stuff. Like I said, it's just kind of a kind of a carry on this week. So you know, there's some Aquaman, some Green Arrows, and. Uh, Harley Quinn, Cyborg, just oh well, there, yeah, there is new Justice League, which I believe this will be the start of uh, where they're going after the Justice League Suicide Squad, right? So okay. we're done with that. Uh, the Justice League series has been kind of weird because every every time they kind of start a story, it's just been you're thrown in the middle of it, and you know, it's just stuff is going. There hasn't been a whole lot of context with it, so it's yeah. been weird, but. Um, now with them building out to the JLA and all from, you know, the Just League versus Suicide right. Squad, then hopefully we should be good to go with some good old action. And it's uh, not totally DC, but Young Animals doing their next Yeah, yeah Shade we'll have the some changing Shade the girl. Changing Girl. Which so I'm, I've been keeping up with all the Young Animals. So. <laughs> they've been good. You yeah. know, I had a guy come through the other day and he was, he was like, who's, you know, what's DC Young Animals is telling him, you know, it's Gerard Way and yada, yada. It's Vertigo was, for, yeah, for it's, today. It's it, yeah, what it, Vertigo used to be for today. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like a, a, a new Vertigo that they can integrate into the DC yeah. universe. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, Oh, yeah, and there's some Superman coming in, uh, which yeah, the we talked about that earlier. The Sun Super Sons should be coming in soon with Jonathan versus Damien and yada yada yeah, yada. So I'm excited about that. Uh, that'll be their big gear up to here. But which not to talk too much about trades that are coming out, but mm-hmm. I'm just looking at this list and the Scooby Doo Apocalypse trades coming out. Was that actually good? Because I heard a lot of people <sighs> talking about how it was really interesting what they were doing. And I've heard a lot of good things about the cartoon cartoony comic books that right. DC is doing right now. I mean, it is fun. Um, you know, for me being older, you know, I have fond memories of what Scooby-Doo right. should be, right. you know, yeah. and, and I the, love the old cartoons, the way the team comes together is actually makes way more sense than, yeah. you know, the original cartoons, but it, there hasn't been a whole lot of mystery solving, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird, kinda uh, but destroying the purpose of yeah, <laughs> what it, they're it, there to do. It's like that. And that what they did with the, the Flintstones and everything, they just kind of like modernize these, which that's fine. Bring yeah. them, but it, sometimes it goes a little too yeah, far and there's that kind of, yeah, <laughs> very much. So, sure. <laughs> so what do we got next? Uh, let's see. Uh, Marvel side. We've got all new X-Men coming out with their, I, love, I, just, I don't know if anything, they could do anything to get me off of that series. <laughs> there's, been, there's been lulls. There definitely there, has, yeah. but I just can't stop reading that series. And now I think with the whole wash of, you know, Secret Wars kind of erasing all of those timelines, it, it yeah. does, they, okay, now that they're in this world, okay, that's fine. But like before it was like, well, when are they going to go home? Right, <laughs> you right. Know? They kept bringing that so. problem up of, well, we still got to pe- send these people home. It's still has to be thing. Now it's just like, well, they're here to stay. Yeah, that's just that's, it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but this will be the Monsters Unleashed tie-in. Uh, which Monsters Unleashed, I don't know if you've read any of those yet, but it's just, yeah. you know, from all these events that have been going on with Marvel, just like one after another, one after another, and it's like there's these big setups, and they're all like world-changing, and yada, yada, yada. 
monsters start running from the skies and heroes have to battle them. Yeah. Done. I'll take that. I, I know it can never happen, but with the homages going on in there to Jack Kirby and his monsters, I just really want a big Jack Kirby presents monsters right, unleashed yeah. on one of the issues well, or something, or a big memorandum in the back of him yeah. and talking about who he was <laughs> and what he did for Marvel Comics. That would That'll be never great. <laughs> That'd be great. But yeah, unfortunately, this, you know, for as fun as this is, this is a setup for an actual yeah. like Monsters Unleashed title that'll be coming, which involves um, well, once you read Monsters Unleashed one, you'll you'll see who it involves. Um, Champions Five. I know you're a big Champions fan. I am a big Champions yes. fan. That last issue was a bit of a filler issue to me. But, yeah, uh, I'm still excited what they're going to be doing. I'm not too excited about this issue because <laughs> of the focal point is being Gwenpool and all, which she's she's cool. Yeah. It's just like. Don't make this silly, guys. <laughs> yeah, it, it's weird how they're kind of forcing these, um, like these new characters. You know, they kind of did the same with um, uh, uh, Spider Gwen, and you right. know, and all this. It's yeah. like all of a sudden they came out, and now they're just like forcing them in through these books, and uh, it's like, wow, why, where? Okay, so she's you know a real world chick brought into the Marvel universe, yeah. and now she's gonna join some comic book heroes, and just <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Hawkeye three, Hawkeye, the new yeah, Hawkeye series Hawkeye has been is so good. Yes. Oh man, I was afraid it was going to be a little gimmicky, but no, that that uh, one and Hulk both have yep. been top notch, man. Yeah. I'll when we what. first started the podcast, it's one of the first things we talked about was how good that Hawkeye series back then was, yeah, was going, and how we really wish that Kate Bishop would get her own series. Yes. It looked like they were building toward that, but then it looked like they weren't doing anything with it. <laughs> we were kind of disappointed. We're like, it's got to happen eventually. Yeah. And here we are. It's They're happened. Just biding their so time. Exciting. Yeah. I think it was primarily because like, you know, when they started introducing um, like Jane Foster as Thor and, you know, they're, well, Kate Bishop was introduced before Riri Williams, but Riri kind of took over yeah. Iron Man before. Do you, you know, know is so. it Riri or Riri? Because I keep switching back and forth because I, I don't know. That's the problem I with print know. media. Yeah, you, you don't know, know how it, to pronounce things. You, you, you never know. It's like <laughs> Jeff Lemire, Jeff Lemire, Mark Miller, yeah. Mark Millar. You yep. know, going you yep. know, unless they tell me specifically, then uh, you know, whatever is easiest for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a man of convenience. Like Dead Kennedy. I, I always, always pick said. the wrong one. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, we also have got Moon Knight 11, which, oh, is that, yeah, is that, that's not the start of a new, no, it started in yeah, issue 10, okay, uh, which is kind of the whole fallout with the Conchu, you know, internal, we still don't even know what kind of battles going on here, but, <laughs> uh, it did start where, you know, he's kind of consolidating his consciousnesses, his, uh, <laughs> into one. So, um, we'll see where that leads to. Cause is it going to be, you know. Mark versus Conchu, what's going to happen? Doom, yeah. doom, doom. I'm excited about Nova number three being the uh, Annihilation was one of my favorite storylines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're bringing back a uh, Ryder and talking yes. a lot about that. So oh, I feel like that's that clash versus the old and the new. And <laughs> yeah. And like, hey, I'm sure that'll be a whole introduction. The old. I mean, it's man, like wonder, nine years old. Yeah. The old. <laughs> I got to say, you, you know, because I know Stallone's supposed to be in Guardians 2 and yeah. everything. I, re I kind of really want Stallone to be Rick Ryder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of want. That I do want them to do more with Nova in the movies. I think yeah. that'd be a cool thing to do because it makes you know he could be like you know the elite of the guard, hence Nova. You know because right. you know, well, I don't know. That's just, that's <laughs> just like, uh, old man Logan should be coming in this week as well. Is he, is he done fighting Dracula now? Which oh yeah, really yeah, good, yeah. Actually, but... issue sixteen uh, started the new arc okay. there, which I still have. I do I'm yeah, behind on that one too. Uh, it's very aliens esque, right? Oh, so it's cool. like he has to. He ended up going into space to. Um, they had sent some folks up, and they were like, "Hey, we're getting no response. We need to send you up there because you can survive anything." Yeah, gets there into the brood, and it's totally like this, like an alien esque situation. And uh, he, the whole story, he wakes back in the wastelands, right, from mm -hmm. the original book and all, and he's slowly piecing this together and basically finds out, oh, I'm in space. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just been like hallucinating. <laughs> so uh, even the cover was yeah. so alien. It I was, love the character. I mean, if they were going to reintroduce Wolverine, which we all knew they were going to, this yeah. was, I think, the way to go. Oh, yeah. And I really liked in Secret Wars when they uh, introduced that title and you had his little yes. mini series there. I thought it was brilliant and it was oh, so yeah. well done. I jumped right on immediately. And of course he had some lagging going on in his series too, where we weren't sure what was happening. But you know, even then it was the start of, uh, the post secret wars, old man, Logan, like just the man out of time story, yeah. you know, and him having to like go through and realize that this isn't his world, you exactly. know, and, and, uh, 
that whole dichotomy was just amazing. And uh, when he meets old man Steve Rogers, you know, yeah. and he's like, oh, what the, why are you old? You know, and he meets Kate Bishop and he's like, you're not a hog guy. You know, what's going on here? Yeah. That's, I think I might have mentioned this last time we talked, but in Nova, when uh, Richard Ryder came back and he's met all the champions, he yeah. was like, wait, you're Spider Man? Is he dead? Yeah. Like, well, but. It, Captain Marvel's a girl. Carol Danvers is Captain Marvel now? Yeah. I'm so confused. Are you all 12? Right. <laughs> and like, well, Cyclops is dead and Cyclops shows up. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm me from the past. He goes, I hate everything about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like that they throw those jokes in there because it is just like absurd to be like, yeah. what is going on in the Marvel Universe? <laughs> Uh, Star Wars Darth Maul yeah, coming in. You have high hopes for that? Dude, yes. Yeah. Uh, I've been steering clear. Uh, you know, like I say, yeah, I own a shop, but also I am a fan first and foremost. So right. there's a lot of stuff I won't, you know, read previews and stuff about because I want to be surprised. When sure. It in, you know, and um, I, I did see a like an art preview of Darth Maul, and it looks like it is taking place prior to uh, even like the prequels. I mean, he still has oh, yeah. legs at this point. Yeah. So it's like, I'm wondering, you know, with it being a five issue run, you know, it's one of their new mini series, what, how far this is going to mm. go. And I really want, you know, they are bringing all this stuff back into the star Wars world, you know, and, and I want this to tie in cause I'm still highly disappointed with the shattered empire, you know, that was supposed to yeah. tie to force awakens. And it's, I mean, there's a couple things Just in had there. Some vignettes. Yeah, it was like about Poe's parents, and then we, you know, they introduced these these force trees, but we yeah, see anything, anything about it, it, you yeah. know? And it's like, come and on, guys. I'm I'm pretty new to a Marvel or to Star Wars extended universe stuff. I never really got into it before. I always wanted mm -hmm. to, but it was so daunting. You know, there's like, yeah. here's your 400 novels. Right. Like, yeah. I don't know where to start. But now that they kind of reset that, I was like, oh, I can kind of get into this. So I started reading, yeah. you know, the main comics and then Darth Vader. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have they talked about Darth Maul's origins ever before in the extended universe? Uh, in fact, well, the, so through the Dark Horse run, uh, there were several series and the, the, technically the first of the new canon is the, Dark Horse, Son of Dathomir books, right? When that kind of took place during the same time of Clone Wars. And that's where you find out, you know, he did survive and his brother kept him in the built him some legs. And, mm -hmm. you know, then he taught his brother they had to fight Force Witches and like a bunch of crazy stuff. And so he is a part of the world, you know. And I don't know if Marvel would ever reprint that. I know they are doing some like kind of uh, Marvel or Star Wars Legends books where they are reprinting old, some of the old Dark Horse stuff. But, yeah. Um, I don't know specifically with Son of Dathomir if they'll ever, you know, right. what they're doing with that. But the foundation is there to move it forward. And um, I believe it was around -ish, like 20 of the, the current Star Wars run. Uh, there was a moment where Leia... Uh, with some, uh, I think it was, some, what's her name, Sansa Solo, I can't remember, it was like this chick who is apparently supposed to be Han's wife, right? So mm. that's a that's whole other thing. Yep. But anyways, they end up going on this mission and go back to Naboo, but it's like, you know, current time Naboo or whatever, and she ends up going into the hangar and gets this cold feeling, and it's the same hangar where Qui-Gon and Obi had originally met Darth oh, Maul and yeah. had the big epic yeah. battle, right, from Phantom Menace. And uh, she gets this kind of cold chill, and they overlay uh, Maul's face just kind of lightly over the pictures. You can just kind of make it out. And it's Interesting. Like, oh, so they're, they've been kind of alluding that right. Darth Maul is still around and doing all this, but we'll find out in this series how huh. how, how far along it's been. So. Yeah. Because with even with the main Star Wars book, it's – loosely a month or so, you know, at this point where it's at in the run, it's, you know, a few months, I would say after a new hope. Um, so, you know, if they do, you know, they're doing these like half movies like rogue one is, you know, taking 3.5 or, right, you know, or right. whatever. So maybe we'll see like a half movie that introduces, you know, Maul back into, yeah. you know, the, the, I guess the OG trilogy. It's like, what yeah. I like to say, you know, um, or if he's still alive, you know, after all this time, being a Sith, he could live for quite some time and they'll throw him in eight or nine or, you yeah. know, something. I don't know. I'm just excited. Uh, what else we got here? We got, oh, True Believer stuff, new dollar comics that Marvel's yeah. doing. Um, it's a popular thing now. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, this is all going to be Wolverine centric because obviously Logan, Logan. comes out in March. Yep. Um, so you've got Wolverine versus Hulk, which is a reprint of Hulk 181. So if you've never read Hulk 181, because it's the first, well, 
the first full story of Wolverine and comics and such. And, you know, it goes for a pretty penny. So now you can get it for a buck. Yeah. You just want to reprint. Uh, <laughs> for sure. And then is yeah. it just going to have just the way it was reprinted or are they going to add yeah, like any just bonuses the issue. or anything um, there? Probably when, new ads at least. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely update that. But yeah. yeah, they're just the first issue. So technically that story arc did kind of go through 181 into 182, but 181 yeah. was kind of the bulk of it and all. And then like Wolverine number one, um, like, uh, it's just like the standard, like the post Frank Miller miniseries. Oh, and, yeah. You know, so they're just doing a bunch of them, just throw them out there and like, hey, guys, remember this, this old stuff since we all you right. know, we made him an old man now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wasp 2 should be coming out in Stoppable Wasp, which I like how they've brought her back into play. Yeah. You know, um, first issue, not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, and even in Avengers, uh, she's just been kind of the side character right. um so there hasn't been a whole lot of focus on her uh but it is neat you know i, yeah. I'm I do like that, that and I, maybe it was the latest avengers I, I might be an issue or two behind she kind of saved the day and showed the avengers off yeah. she was like this is how you be a hero right <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 she and jumped like, into yeah. the little time stream yeah like, so i like that <laughs> when the youngest hero is like i'm gonna do this thing that <laughs> right no one else would be willing to do at the moment <laughs> yeah uh, oh i got you guys yeah <laughs> That bold uh, devil may care heroicism. You're right. <laughs> uh, I do like the Unstoppable Wasp a lot. I think it's really positive. For, like a young, like if I, yeah. my wife has younger sisters, and I like to give them comics, and that's something that when I read that, I was like, oh, they would really like this. Yeah. And so I like coming across those comics. I think because of that, it's altered kind of what I like in comics. So I really like a lot of the more younger and yeah. um, like of course Squirrel Girl, Ms. Marvel. Yeah. But I like <laughs> they, like, deal with like true honest things, especially like Miss Marvel. Yeah. Uh, dealing with religion and politics. Yeah. Miss Marvel. Things prime going on example. in the world. Because yeah, um, I know, you know, it, it's so easy to, to make, you know, some of these the just kind of corporate gimmicks to cash right. in on things. But I'm so glad that Ms. Marvel is has not been that, yeah, you know, it's, for sure. it could have easily have gone either way. And they've it's a good team, good yeah. teams on it. And so, you know, it's written well. Yeah. So I'm excited about the second issue of Unstoppable Wasp. I know I've heard some negative reviews about it, of course, from people who are anti-feminist or people who are feminist enough that they think that it's gimmicky and trying to cash grab out of a yeah. political thing and so uh i i'm I, i'm enjoying it it's all yeah. i know <laughs> yeah, all that, and that's all that really matters you know every uh, comics are always going to be a representation of the times you right. know and so and we're they're gonna never going to get everything right <laughs> no <laughs> no not at all not in a fantasy setting <laughs> that's for sure uh what else we got uh, let's see. Uh, Image has got some good stuff coming through. Paper Girls is back. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you, yeah. Have you read Paper Girls? Brian K. Vaughn? I've Flip read Chang? the first volume. I've been meaning to read the second volume for a long time. Oh, I just man. have not gotten to it. Uh, I've been waiting for a while because they, they're they smart with their schedules whenever they do kind of complete you know a new volume of a story or whatever, how there is this kind of two-month delay, but it's you know it's coming back. And, yeah. And, you know, it stays pretty consistent. And with Paper Girls, you know, being I best way I describe it is like an an interdimensional all female Goonies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I was. We uh, talked about it on the podcast when uh, I think there was just like four or five issues out, and I talked about it being like a Spielberg movie. And yeah, especially just even with the coloring of the panels. Oh yeah, like everything reminds me of when you're a little kid and the sun setting and everything feels so like, epic. Yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited because they totally left that on a cliffhanger. You know, the first yeah. volume. It's it is it his writing style on this book has been weird. It's so like the first volume has just been a lot of introduction to the right. characters. You really don't see what's happening until yeah. the final issue, and then in the second volume, you know they're in the midst of everything and you know introducing because it, it's kind of a, you know the alt timeline you know stuff that's going on, and so again it tends to introduce some new characters and then drop the bomb. So eleven, you know, we're gonna be in the thick of it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Deadly Class, uh, that'll be coming out. Yeah, which... is that still going good? That's another one. I oh, read the man. first volume and I loved it, and then I just never got back to it. Oh, this is this. So twenty five was the start of the new class. Okay. Right? So this is you know, they kind of went through, did their whole graduation, went through all that stuff, and now it's a whole new crew coming in, being trained in the in the yeah. school and everything, in the underground assassin school um, for derelicts and rejects. And yeah, I think the uh, yeah the tribute covers will be coming out as well. Uh, Image is doing all of these like throwbacks to right. like '90s series. Yeah, and such. I, the ones I've seen, they're so cool. Yeah, I think Deadly Class is uh, Cyber Force, so it's like the Cyber Force oh, number awesome. one cover. But yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Walking Dead will be coming out uh, 163. Which yeah, this is this will be the first book 
that they're doing for the 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So for images, 25th anniversary. Right. So a lot of their big title books that'll be coming out uh, for, for this anniversary month will be 25 cents. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yes. Just, just running on advertising money alone. There. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> And the new Image Plus, which is their preview. Um, yeah, the, uh, those have been pretty cool. Oh, there's tons uh, of good stuff in there. Tons yeah. of interviews, cool previews. And then, yeah, since the beginning, they've been doing this, you know, here's Negan, kind of his origin. Like, they right. did the origin of Lucille and, like, all this other stuff. And, um, they, you know, they're super cheap. And uh, it's it's kind of cool. You know, it is just a coming soon book. But at least right. I like to see that they have something else bonus in yeah, there. Yeah, I feel I mean, like it's it's instead of being just like a previews book, it's more like a fanzine of yeah. what's coming up. It's more like back in the day when people made fanzines and had right. interviews with the creators it's and like wizard showing but you like different art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I miss wizard. <laughs> uh, and then Nailbiter 29 will be coming out this week as well, which Nailbiter will be ending. I think it's 30. It'll be wrapping up, okay. um, which if you're not read Nailbiter, man, I tell you what. <laughs> I picked up volume one, I think two months, three months ago. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to read this, and I haven't yet. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's crazy. Well, for those that don't know, it's basically, in essence, Nailbiter is one of apparently many serial killers that have all come from this one town. And yeah. And everybody's like, what is going It has a lot of uh, Silence of the, Land of the Lambs aspects. Um, with Nailbiter, he was the only one really caught but they couldn't really prove it you mm -hmm. know so he he ends up kind of helping these other cops that are like you know trying to research the town and he, right. even the town has this big like they're aware of the situation so they're trying to cash in on it you know and there's like a serial killer like museum and like all this other stuff but it goes so much further than that mm -hmm. you know it's like that's very kind of a basic level is describing the story but there's there's so much more in Tain that it's like, okay, well, now we're getting to the point where they're answering what we've had questions at the beginning of, you know, oh, it's kind of. Yeah, if it's wrapping at 30, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is, a quick. lot of it was like lost where by the time you were getting answers to questions, well, then you didn't care anymore. Oh, and there was yeah. these new questions that you're right. interested in, right? Well, in Nail Buyer, there's been this one burning question that's just, they've just been alluding to the entire time. So hopefully we get to see it then. <laughs> Oh, Avengers. Yeah, Avengers 4 oh, this yeah. week. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Avengers, man. Yeah, I think this will be because, they, yeah, they, yeah, so Avengers 4, they finished up the Kang arc. Oh, Is yeah. That right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that with Wasp. Yeah, right. it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were just talking about that until yeah, we yeah, yeah. About <laughs> uh, Man, which I get so lost in the art on that. Mike Del Mundo's yeah. art is just, oh, it's amazing. Which is such a good, like, it, overall, the team is awesome. I mean, you got Mark Wade writing it, right? And then you got Mike Del Mundo's art, which is beautiful in and of itself. And then it, Alex Ross covers, psh, okay, I'll take it all. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty light week overall. Um, just good, good carrying on. And of course, yeah. you know, there's plenty more, you know, that's already been out that you can get caught up on as well. In fact, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to say. Those of you that are listening to the podcast, come into the shop, Empire Strikes Books, Northwest 23rd and Dewey, and you mention this podcast, I'm going to give you 15% off any new comics you buy for the nice. week, right? 25% off any trades. And then on back issues, yeah, we'll take you know, half off, half off back issues. Nice. Get you caught up on you some stuff. You heard it here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so check out Empire Strikes Books. Yes. Come in and say hi. Yeah, yeah. Stay a while. Yeah, do a little dance. That'll be fun too. We can put that on YouTube. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming back and talking to us about comics coming up. Uh, where can we find you online? Ah, we can find us in Facebooks, uh, Empire Strikes Books, um, or Instagram, Empire underscore Strikes. Same for Twitter. Um, not gonna lie, I am confused by Twitter. <laughs> Instagram is primarily my main functional use, but of course everything we list is on, on the Facebook yeah. page. Yeah, so definitely go there. That's the easiest of all sources, I would say. Awesome. Thank you again. No, and thank you. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Deal. Yay! All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
This has been a Graphomania production. If you would like to hear more podcasts, go to graphocast.com. G-R-A-P-H-O-C-A-S-T dot com. Follow us on Twitter at Graphocast and like the Graphomania page on Facebook for news and updates.